Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome. Let me get my chair under me. It's trying to get away. And hang on, I have to turn off my space heater because it's warm in here now. Hi Debbie, welcome. I'm going to pull you guys up on my screen on my laptop here so I can see your comments a little better. Hi Kathy, Karen. And I'm still wearing these new glasses, which I'm trying to get used to. The headaches are coming a little bit less, but hang on, I got hair in my face. Um, I can't, I can't see very good out of them. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, I have this like long piece of hair. <laughs> and now my hair is all stupid. Did you guys know this was a hair show tonight? Yeah, well, got my crown on. Hi Patty, hi Jean, hi Rhonda, Heather, welcome. Yeah, I'm gonna put these glasses on. These are my old glasses, these are my new glasses because I just can't see my screen very good and see who's popping in here. Hi Sarah, Lori, Cindy, welcome. So, hope you guys had a good week. I had a really busy week, you know, trying to get ready for a launch of a new catalog and the launch of the happiest time of the year with celebration. Oh so exciting but there's a lot of things that have to happen in the background like catalogs need to be switched over on my websites and I need to get newsletters out and I need to keep my team informed of what's going on uh, my discount shoppers my biz business builders they all need to know all the little details so it's um it's kind of a big undertaking to do that so I was super busy all week oh well then I took a little bit of time where's my little um sheet here I took a little bit of time and went, I went out to dinner Friday night with my stepdaughter, Anna, and then we went shopping because she's got her new house. She bought a new house a couple months ago and um, she's got a lot of house to decorate. Like it's big. It's very spacious with the big cathedral ceilings and she's coming out of a very small ranch house into this great big house. And so your decorating style has to change to accommodate the hugeness of it all, right? So between that and Haley moved into a new apartment in November, I believe, um, and she's also got cathedral ceilings, and so she's doing a lot of redecorating. So now they've got me in the mood to redecorate. And you guys saw the pictures of my new bathroom laundry room. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with it. Like, I just can't stop going in there. It's like the nicest room in my house, and I'm working on everything else. Um, we bought this house probably about 20 years ago, and it was built in 1900, so it's super, super old. It's been remodeled and redone a gazillion times by the people who lived here prior to us, and they didn't do a very good job. Um, they use really cheap product and some of the molding is plastic. It's just really crummy. So when we first bought this house, we were like going gangbusters, changing it. We like destroyed the living room, took everything out down to the studs and redid it all and um, all kinds of things. And then after a little while, we kind of got sick of it and we just quit. We quit working on it. And of course, you know, money got a little tighter because the kids were of the age that they um, were more expensive. And with getting Haley married this last year and graduating from college and all the things, now we have a little bit of extra income so we can start fixing this place up. So thank you, Sarah. Sarah says it was so beautiful. I really just love it. So I went shopping with Anna and out to dinner Friday night, Saturday afternoon Haley and I went to Home Depot to pick out some new flooring because um, now that the laundry bathroom is done we're going to head upstairs and start hitting the bat the bedrooms and um, the carpeting in my bedroom is that old green dark green stuff yeah you remember that from like when the 90s that's when it was popular yeah so that's coming out and I'm putting in um, hardwood Floors. So she helped me pick something out there and then we went and did a little more shopping because she's trying to redecorate her new apartment and gosh, it was just really fun. <laughs> and then I've been stamping all day. Hi, Judy from Edgerton. I'm happy to see you on here and Kay and Paula and Patty. Welcome. So 
that's what's been happening with me. Um, I wanted to give you a little update on Steve and his bugleitis. He is all better now. <laughs> For those of you that missed my um, Facebook Live last Sunday, my husband was going on and on about having bugleitis because I made him take the bugles, those little chip things that are like triangles, and dip them into the white almond bark. That's We make that for one of our Christmas candies. And um, he just went on and on about how he had bugleitis. He put a sling on his arm. And he's like, oh my God, my shoulder hurts. It's the bugleitis. And it was just so funny. Well, he's all better now. So, But I have to tell you. So um, for New Year's Day, he grilled steaks and bought some shrimp for shrimp cocktail. And today, he's like, Kelly, come in here and help me finish the shrimp. So I didn't get in the kitchen very right away. And so when I went in there, he's like, here, you can have the rest of these shrimp. Yeah, they weren't good. Like, I didn't eat them. I just smelled them. And I'm like, oh, these are not good. And he ate some of them. So I hope he doesn't get food poisoning. Ugh. Yeah. So anyways, <laughs> let's keep our fingers crossed that he's not up in the middle of the night. Oh my Lord. Um, they weren't like horrible, horrible, bad, but it's like they were turning and you know, seafood doesn't last long, especially when it's like shrimp cocktail-y seafood. If it would have been cooked, well, I guess shrimp is cooked, but seafood just doesn't last long. So anyways, um, Jane says, remember when carpet was extra and hardwood floors were um, standard? Yeah, I know. And now we're flipping them, right? Exactly. Hi, Barbara, back, and Terry. Welcome. Yeah, and Terry says, no, not Home Depot. That's where my handyman goes, is Home Depot. So that is his preference. Terry, or, um, yeah, Terry works at Menards, and we like Menards, too. So, um, the other thing that I wanted to update you on is, I think I've made an executive decision, and I am moving. Not out of the house. That'll happen maybe in the next couple of years. But I think I'm going to move my office upstairs. I've come to the conclusion that I need more space. And so I think we're going to switch rooms. Like I'm going to take over the master bedroom with my office, which is really big. And uh, we're going to move our bedroom elsewhere. Who cares where it is? Because like, I don't care. Um, yeah. So that's going to be kind of exciting. So that's why I want to get my guy in here to tear out the carpeting and I want him to tear out the closet wall and paint and then I'll be ready to move into a really nice big office where I won't feel so claustrophobic. So that's going to happen soon I hope. <laughs> All right you guys know celebration started on Friday. For every $50 that you order you get to pick something out of here. And I still can't mirror my phone. I was on the phone with Apple support for two and a half hours last week. Two and a half hours that I can never get back in my life. But we ran into some other trouble with my phone that they need to get that fixed first. And then we're going to work on that flashing thing because it's definitely, we've narrowed it down. I've been all over the place. Like I've called everybody. I went into the cell phone store. Um, we've narrowed it down to it has something to do with the last update for my phone. So that's the flashing is all about that. So, and yes, Marsha, that is upstairs. It's one of the upstairs rooms. Um, <clears throat> but so this is all going to be backwards, but remember for every $50 that you order between now and the end of March, you get to choose an item out of here for free. And that's for every $50. So if you put in a hundred dollars, you can choose another item. And I should clarify, there are level one items. This little symbol here, that's a level one. It says free with a $50 order. We also have some level two items. This one, the red one, that's a level two. When you spend $100, you can get these dies. So the $100 ones or level twos are more expensive products. And um, gosh, we just have a ton of beautiful, beautiful stuff. So yeah, and Ingrid said she's a firm believer in having your house the way you want it to be. And I am too because... I just know I'm going to be so much happier in a bigger space. And I spend so much time in this office and I'm tripping over stuff constantly to get in and out of here. It's just so tight. And um, 
it worked fine for quite a while, but now I've expanded my business to doing all these online classes with pre-cut cardstock packs, the kit classes. Now I need more room for shipping supplies and all of that stuff and scales for postage. And I got a new label printer and all that stuff. So yeah, um, no flashing because the blind. Oh, you guys see? Steve put my blinds up today. When Haley and I went to went shopping yesterday, I bought new blinds. So I've got new blinds here and new blinds over there. So we got those installed. He also put up a curtain rod upstairs in my upstairs bathroom because I just kind of had a towel hanging over the window. Because when we got new windows, we took down all the weather or the weather the um, window coverings and um, I threw away most of them because they were just meh. You know, I said I've really neglected this place for a while. But anyways, we've got celebration going on. Now, you can order out of the big catalog this giant puppy, okay? Or you can order out of the new occasions mini catalog. And remember, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like to get your hands on these, they are beautiful and they have tons and tons of stamping ideas in them and every stamper should have one. If you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com i'd be happy to mail you these new publications they're beautiful then before we go any further if you're a serious stamper you should be getting your product at a discount and i encourage everyone to become a discount shopper i would love to have you on my team i have business builders and i have discount shoppers they're both the same in that you get all the same benefits. It's just some people are gonna build a business out of this and some people are gonna order for themselves and get a discount. So, during celebration, which lasts till the end of March, when you order the discount shopper kit, you're gonna get this adorable little guillotine mini paper trimmer. This thing is fantastic. It's great for keeping right on your desk and cutting those little layers, okay? It will fit in there um, a six, six by six piece of paper yes and diane just asked if you order a hundred dollars you get to choose two level one celebration items for every fifty dollars you get to choose a celebration item um oh as steve just said kelly are you okay you're not burning so i just ate some jalapeno flavored potato chips and one of the little hot things like the little spicy things got kind of in my throat and it made my eye like I was crying and I thought I gotta get this stopped before I go on my live <laughs> I think that's what Steve is talking about there anyways when you order the discount shopper kit you get this little mini cutter you get this beautiful pack of this is a sampler pack this is six by six designer series paper and it's almost all the papers in our Occasions Mini Catalog and Celebration. So you get this, and you get to choose any stamp set of your choice as long as it's orderable. What that means is you can't pick a stamp set out of here because you can't order this. You have to earn it. And same with our host sets. You have to earn them. You can't. What? No, it wasn't. What? I was asking the girl from Australia if she was okay and not oh. burning. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the jalapeno chips. No. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. No way to treat me. <laughs> and he just reminded me, um, the fires in Australia. My gosh, I have so many people that follow me in Australia, you guys. And I am so sorry for what you're going through right now. I hope that you're all safe and that they get that under control because, holy cow, we have fires here too. Um, but I guess there's just so many acres that have burned already. I'm really, really sorry. So that's what he was talking about. Anyways, um, free stamps out of your choice. You know, any dollar amount. This whole pack of paper, the mini cutter, the kit is $99. You get to order whatever you want. It's completely customizable. And um, you get to order $125 worth. You can pay $99 plus tax. There's no shipping on it. And you get a paper pumpkin that's valued at over $20. So you'll get that kit along with it. Then on all your future orders, you get 20% discount at a minimum. It's a great deal. If you're a serious stamper, you should be getting your product at a discount. Pop me an email and I'll be happy to give you the link to all the discount shopper information. There are no strings attached to that either. It's just like the best deal ever. It is the best deal of the year. 
So, what are we going to do first? I have to flip my phone around to show you guys any of the things that I got. And Tracy um, Bazemore, I want to make sure you know, you asked last week, and I didn't see your question, but I think you asked if I had gotten this gift from you, and I did. And look at these. Tracy wrapped these, and these are wonderful little chocolate candies. And I have to order order. I have to open it the right way. But yes, I did get them and I have been eating them and they are delicious. <laughs> so thank you so much, Tracy. Um, I did get them. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the cards that I've gotten during the week until the end because I'm still on Christmas cards. Like you guys, I still have this thing is filled with cards that I need to share with you that people sent me. So I think I'll wait until the end for that. And we can do prizes. So you have, there are three ways to win prizes on my Facebook Live. The first way is by leaving a comment. So if you're watching me, you need to leave at least one comment. You can just say, hello, Kelly, or... Um, from Bismarck, North Dakota, or whatever you want. Just leave a comment so you can get entered in that drawing. Last week for commenting, Deborah Bach of Stafford, Virginia is the winner of these beautiful red rhinestone basic jewels. These are perfect in time for Valentine's Day, right? So I will be dropping these in the mail to Deborah. Congratulations. Yeah, Trudy says prayers to all our stamping friends in Australia. And yes, exactly, because that's really scary. Fires are scary, right? Um, then for when you share my video, so you can click on that share button right now. You're going to share this to your profile page. Don't share it to any of my pages or my profile page. That's for me to do, and I have a set schedule of that. But share it to your profile page. For sharing last week, Gilmore Demink is our winner. Gilmore, I need your address so I can mail these beautiful, brightly gleaming foil elements. These are copper and they are gorgeous. That was for sharing. Then for placing an order during the week, I have these. And the lucky winner, whoops, hang on, it's kind of goofy back here. The lucky winner is going to get this a mother's flare. This has some cute little images in it and also some Mother's Day greetings and just some general greetings like life is beautiful because of you. Well, that could be anybody, right? Hope your day is as wonderful as you are. I believe the stamp set is from last year. I found it in my closet with these jumbo pearls. So I'm going to put both of these in a package and send these out to our winner is Rosemarie Foster of Tawanda, Pennsylvania. Rosemarie, congratulations. Okay, you guys, if you would like to get entered in those drawings, comment, share my video, place an order. I love all three of those. Orders are my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set those back there so I don't lose them. And I think that we are probably ready to stamp right? I have some super cute projects to share with you tonight. I'm really excited. Oh, I should probably talk a little bit about my online classes. I just released two online classes, I think, since I've seen you last. First is with the Tropical Oasis. That one is my kit class. So each month I collaborate with Ashley Pfeiffer out of Canada and I do a kit class. This, for the month of January, we're using the Tropical Oasis. Um, that kit is $45. You have the option to add on the stamp set and the dies and also the embossing folders, so that's cool. I will mail those to you right away if you choose that option. So just know that your product's gonna come directly from Stampin' Up, those three items, and then the rest of it'll come in a kit towards the, I think I have it, I'm mailing those around the 24th of the month because I have to finalize the orders and then place my order to get all the product and get it all cut and sorted and packaged and out in the mail to you. So I think I've got a date on there of the 24th. Then I just released a new class with the Peaceful Moments, which is part of this poppy set. Now, this is my online class that I do with my friends Barb and Dina. You can order option number one includes products, stamp set, 
embellishments, ribbon, all the things. With that, you get a free online class. Each one, each one of the items has a video. Plus, we have this super cute, beautiful um, birthday, perpetual birthday calendar portfolio. You're going to get the calendar included in that with option one. It's going to be all cut and ready for you to create. Um, option number two, you get the online class with the pre-cut card stock. You'll get a link so you can print out your perpetual calendar. Oh, and I wanted to say, I sent out all the information on this, but I made an error. The January class does not include the um, elements, the um, poppy elements. That's going to be included in the February class because we're going to be using painted poppies in February, which if you guys have looked at this suite, you know that it is um, big. Okay, here it is. We're doing peaceful moments, which is the word set with all the dyes of flowers for January. February, we're doing the painted poppies. Painted poppies is going to include the poppy elements. So I deleted that from my advertising, but I just wanted you to know that that was an error on my part. That wasn't included in the price and that will actually put me under and I'll lose money on that. So I made that correction early today and I just sent out all that information yesterday. But you also, if you order option number one, you get a um, for, choose, you get to choose a free celebration item. So yeah, and next month also. All of that information is on my blog, www.astampabub.com. Right hand column, click on online classes. You'll be able to find all of it. You can click on the ordering links there. Okay, now I think we're ready to stamp. I'm so excited. Oh, here's my bowl from my jalapeno chips. Don't tell Bev. <laughs> okay, I think what I'm going to bring in. Oh, I was so excited today. I was absolutely giddy because um, I've got a little treat holder for you tonight that I think is just stinking adorable. Oh, I have to show you this. So my husband asks for a thank you card to send to his sister because she got the Christmas presents for his mom. And so he's going to send her a thank you card and the money. And I give him a beautiful thank you card. And what does he do with it? He spills shrimp sauce on it. He comes in here. He's like, I need a different card. I just spilled shrimp sauce on it. And, like for a stamper, we're like, how could you do that? Like, how could you do it? Are you kidding me? Why would you be so careless with that card? That's a beautiful card. I <laughs> just, just about had a conniption. Well, I did kind of have a conniption. I'm like, I can't believe you did that. So anyways, I saved that so I could tattle on him how careless he was with this beautiful card. Yeah. Now I gotta toss that in the garbage. Okay. So anyways, I thought I'd tell you about that because it was kind of, kind of funny after I got over the shock and horror right? You, got, you guys understand that, right? <laughs> All right. So we are going to be using from my heart specialty designer series paper. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my camera around now so you guys can see the products and the beautifulness that is about to happen. <laughs> Cindy's laughing. I know, right? Like shrimp sauce. Like why would you have the card near where you could spill shrimp sauce? <laughs> I know you guys get this. I know you do. <laughs> I'm going to flip you around. So hang tight. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes for a second. There we go. That was pretty smooth. Let's see if I can get it in the holder without killing it. There we go, and I'll get my cord out of the way. Oh, and what's today? Today's the 4th. I think on Wednesday, the 8th, um, I am the guest tutorialist on SplitCoastStampers.com, so you guys will have to watch for that because I made some really cute gifts with Valentine's themes. Yeah, I can't really tell you all about it, but you'll see it. Okay, I am going to be making a Valentine treat holder. Now, I hear from people all the time, well, I'm not really into Valentine's Day. I don't send Valentine cards. Well, let me tell you, Valentine's is the time you should be sending cards. Like, if you have friends, they need Valentine cards. So, you don't have to make them lovey-dovey, gushy. It's not just for boyfriends or husbands or girlfriends or whatever. It's just people in general. 
everybody would love to get a card. With that being said, if you're still like, well, I don't care what she says, I am not into Valentine cards. <laughs> This pouch can be made for any occasion. I think you're going to love it, and I'm super excited to share it with you. I'm also going to be using the Parisian Flourish 3D Embossing Folder. This is a beauty. Absolutely love this to make the card, because there's a card also. And let's see, we're going to be using the Detailed Trio Punch. This is the From the Heart Punch Pack, or it's called Heart Punch Pack. These come together. This one layers inside the scalloped one, so that's really cool. And I've had people ask me, Stampin' Up! had heart punches a couple years ago. Are these the same? No, they're bigger. So just so you know that, you make a decision whether you want to invest in them or not, but they are bigger. And then I've got some tear tape and my stamp. And, oh, I don't have the, oh, hang on. I got to grab this stamp case over here. I didn't think I needed it, but I do. Okay. And then I've got my bow jig. People are asking me about the bow jig. My friend Denise's husband makes these. They're in um, Arizona for the winter. So you'll have to check back with me in April or May if you want to get one. They're not taking orders right now. Okay, here we go. I'm going to move this out of the way, but you can see the specialty part of this paper is the foil. So there's foil, front, back, foil, front, back, foil. This has foil in it. It is absolutely beautiful. This is from my heart specialty designer series paper. And for those of you, I get a ton of people asking me questions about these sheets that I make which I really didn't make. I was getting them as part of a service I pay for. But I actually made a set of these for the Occasions Catalog and Celebration. I will be sharing that on Wednesday for my tip video. The link, you can print them out. I'll tell you all about how to make these. I think everybody's going to love that. Okay. And then we also have part of the suite is the From the Heart Faceted Gems. You guys, these are so, so pretty. Look at how beautiful they are. They're all like mm, blingy. And also some ribbon, some satin ribbon that's really, really pretty. Okay, I think we're ready to roll on this. I am going to bring in, oh, I got it right here. I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. If you're in the market for a new paper trimmer, this one's really nice, it's only $25. I really like it, I'm like still liking it. Um, it was new to us, I think, like in November, and I've had a chance to use it a lot, and it's a really nice paper cutter, and it's only 25 bucks. That's pretty inexpensive. Now, remember, if you're placing orders, you're going to want to use this host code right here. That's my current host code, and um, you're going to want to use that if your order's under $150. If your order's over $150, don't use that code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up!, and I want you to have those. Okay, we're starting out with Real Red. I have another color combination to show you with the same idea. So you know how I like to, to kind of do that, right? This is seven and three quarters by nine and a quarter. What we're gonna do, we're gonna score the short side. And when I say that, this is the short side, this is the long side. We're gonna score the short side at a half an inch. And then I'm gonna turn it around because we're gonna score again at one inch. one and a half inches, six and a quarter. Now remember you guys, you are going to find all of these dimensions will be above the video when I'm done tonight. As soon as I am done being live, I will post all the dimensions for these. You're also gonna find them at the latest tomorrow morning on my blog with still photos, all the dimensions in one place. There's a shopping list. I provide you with all the products and links where you can go look at the details on my store, buy them, whatever you want to do, but you'll see the whole shopping list of what I've used to make these projects. Okay, six and a quarter, six and three quarters, and then seven and a quarter. So it's like a half an inch intervals over here and a half an inch intervals over here. Let me get this straight. Got to make sure you're getting your measurements at the right number. Now we're going to turn this 
to the long side and we're gonna score at three and a quarter. And if Becky Miltenberger is watching, I hope you know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I think she will know. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we are going to cut off all of these score lines from this one down and from this one down. So I, you could use your scissors if you want, but I'm just gonna put this back in my paper cutter and I am going to bring my cutting blade to the score line right here. And again, you can put, you can use your scissors if you want, but why do that when you can just do that really quick? Just wanna make sure I'm getting all the way to that line. And then I'm gonna turn it around, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut all the way up to the score line right here. Just like that. And now I'll bring my scissors in and cut these two sides off. Just like that. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. Ouch, I just pinched my finger in there. <laughs> Don't pinch your finger right in there because <laughs> I just pinched my finger. That's my first time I've ever done that. <laughs> okay, now with this part, you're going to take and fold on your score line. So fold both of these in and now we're going to accordion fold them just like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing here. So now we've got this going on and get my bone folder out. Do your bone folders get really dirty like this? Mine get so dirty. I think it's just glue and adhesive, but still, it's like, how do they get so dirty when this is all I'm doing with them? Well, sometimes I try to like open frozen windows. Let's see, do I still, oh, no, this isn't, oh yeah, well that tip is broken, yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on, I just dropped something. My doilies just fell out and fell on the floor. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know how it gets so dirty. So we've got that going on, and then you're going to fold on this line and burnish that good. Okay. Then we're going to take all of these. I'm just going to hold them up like this, grab my paper snips, and I'm going to snip just like that. This is what you're going to have. Okay. We're going to do the same thing over here, just like this, just like that, okay? Now, tear and tape, here it is, right here. You know what, I never did bring you guys up on my screen, so it's so hard for me to watch comments, I just really want you to know that. So if I forget, or if you ask a question, you don't get an answer, please let me know. I'll, I'll give you time at the end where I am paying attention because like right now, I just need to concentrate on stamping so I don't make a complete fool out of myself, <laughs> which isn't the end of the world either. I know you guys would forgive me, right? Yeah. Um, Sue, so you can clean your bone folders with um, rubbing alcohol actually works pretty darn good. It works good to get anything off. Like, I use it on my work surface to get, like, you'll see all these little glue spots. I use rubbing alcohol. And I use it to clean my um, acrylic blocks. These blocks, because they get glue and stuff on them, too. I use rubbing alcohol for that also. I'm just going to trim this off a little bit because I get a little carried away with the, ouch, with the tape. I'm burning myself tonight. Okay, so now we have this done. This is going to create a little pouch, but I wanted mine to be just a little bit fancier. So I'm going to bring in this detailed trio punch and I'm going to use this decorative edge here and you just push it in so that it's all the way up against the two baseboards, which are here and here. And I like to leave it sit on the table. Push it up in there, punch. And that's what it makes. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna do that again. And now I'm going to round those corners because that's going to make it look like really professional. Isn't that pretty? 
Yeah, so this trio punch does three things. It does the floral thing, it does the corner rounder, and it'll punch a hole to insert ribbon or something like that. So that's pretty cool too. Okay, now we need to embellish things. And um, here we go. I am going to come in here. Here are the doilies. And this is also part of that sweet from my heart. You get a whole bunch of red ones and a whole bunch of flirty flamingo ones. These are the ones that just fell on the floor, okay? Um, you get 20 of each in a pack, so it's a really good deal. I'm gonna use flirty flamingo. I've got a little layer of whisper white here. This layer is two and a half by three and seven eighths. I'm gonna bring in my real red ink and I am going to stamp love you lots right there super duper easy then I'm gonna put it on a layer of this and this is that beautiful foil paper now this is two and seven eighths by four and a quarter so I'm going to add this right to this layer. And I love that bright pop of color coming out. Oh, look, I have red ink all over. Yeah, it's not gonna matter because we're gonna cover it up. But that's why we keep, it's always the red. Well, and I do black quite a bit. Well, I do kind of all the colors, but I always get red all over myself. Then we have, <laughs> we're gonna turn that over. We have another piece of white to go behind our designer series paper. And this piece is three and an eighth by four and a half. And that's just gonna give us a real nice pop. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I'm gonna close this up before we have any more disasters with it. We are going to glue this right on the front. Oops. Yep, right on the front of our pouch area. I'm gonna open this back up so I can make sure I get it on here straight and centered. Okay, and now we're ready to take the um, backing off of our tear and tape. We're gonna take both sides off. And we're going to push that down. This creates a little pocket. Hang on. I'm getting super hot now. Remember, I had a space heater on when I started this video, and now I'm starting to sweat. So, welcome to 50-something. <laughs> okay, we're done with that. Now I'm gonna bring in this ribbon, and this beautiful satin ribbon, I believe is 3 8 yep, 3 8 inch double-stitched satin ribbon, perfect for Valentine cards or anything red. Don't have to always do Valentine cards. And that's the neat thing I like about our designer paper too. While this is Valentine paper, we've got other things going on here. We've got stripes that you could use for anything. We've got stripes here and then these polka dots. You could use that for any type of a card. It doesn't have to be Valentine's. So we're gonna cover up the ink smears that I got all over the place here. And I'm gonna grab a piece of my crummy Amish tape. You guys know the whole story on this, right? I'm going to put this over here. Yeah. The Amish tape, that's not very good quality, but I'm still using it. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to make a little bow with my bow jig. I have a whole video on YouTube on how to use this thing. If you go to my YouTube channel, Go to YouTube and then search for Kelly Atchison. Kelly Clarkson comes up first, but then I'm like best friends with her, so I'm next. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not really best friends with her, but she does come up first. <laughs> and then I come up next. But anyways, do a search for Kelly Atchison on YouTube, and then you're going to click on, once you find me and go to my channel, then you're going to click on videos. And then you're going to put in that little magnifying glass space, bow jig. And this video will pop right up so you can, it tells you how to make one of these and how to use it. So isn't that just 
perfect. It's perfect every single time. I love that thing. And I have a lot of people who will come back to me and say, oh, I forgot how to use it. And I'm like, oh, here's the video. You can just look at the video and it'll show you. Because when I first got my bow jig from my friend Denise, I had it for quite a while and never used it. And then I pulled it out and thought I should use this, but I couldn't remember how. Yeah, that's how that goes. I'm just going to put my little bow over here with a mini glue dot. Now, this is a really cool thing. This is part of that beautiful paper, right? Our heart punches match the big hearts in here. There's two different sheets of paper. Well, actually, there's four sheets total, but two different patterns that have these hearts on them. I'm going to punch that out. And then I'm going to punch out... Let's see, what am I doing here? Yep, I'm gonna punch out a scallop heart to layer it on. Put a little bit of glue on there. I'm gonna check and see if there's anybody. Oh, Becky's on here, Becky, yes! This is the holder that she made me, and I'm calling it, what am I calling it? A pocket pouch, that's what I'm calling it. So I'll show the one that Beck, I'll show you the one that Becky made me when I get this done for you, but it's just so adorable. What just fell? Something fell on the floor. Oh, the lid to my take your pick tool. Okay, now I'm gonna put this on one of these doilies. Isn't that just pretty? I love that our stuff color coordinates and it just makes life so much easier. Did you see I just flicked that right on the floor? <laughs> yeah, I need to vacuum. I dropped my um, take your pick tool paper pumpkin box and I've got little bits everywhere on the floor. It's just a real disaster in here right now. And then I need dimensionals. Hang on, looking for the dimensionals. I was gonna say, I got on a brand new sheet and I don't know what happened to it. Here we go. So I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of my heart. And here we go. We're gonna set this right in here. Is that not the cutest thing ever? We're not done. Hang tight. Because we have these faceted gems. So I decided to just add a few little glue spots, one down here and maybe one more over there. Grab your take your pick tool and we're going to add some of these babies on here. So the funny thing about these is when they're sitting in here, they're mostly upside down. So I gotta kind of dump them out so I can get a hold of them. And I want a pink one. Oh, here's a pink one. A little pink one. And how about a big pink one? There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Now, what the heck are you going to do with this pouch, right? I, I know that's your question. Ready? 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 <gasps> These are so cute. So Becky sent me. Uh, a, a whole gift set like this. These are Betty Crocker Mug Treat Brownie Mix. So you mix these up in a mug. It's got the directions on the back. You just put milk or water in with it and microwave it and you make yourself a little mug brownie. And it even comes with frosting. This is gooey, yummy little frosting to go on top. These fit in here perfectly. Now, how sweet is this? This would be a great gift for your coworkers at work for Valentine's Day. Um, it would be a great gift for your kids to give to their friends for your it would be a great gift for your grandkids Super super cute right now the other thing if you didn't want to go this route if you wanted to Let's say you have a friend that is a coffee lover now. I bought these door county coffee Packets around Christmas time. They're obviously jingle bell Java but I'm pretty sure you can still get these at your grocery stores. And it's a single pot coffee thing. And if you have coffee lovers, this would make a great little pouch to hold the coffee too. So there's a number of things that you could put in here. 
Let me show you the one that Becky made me. Remember this? This is the same little treat pouch with the Gather Together. So this was a fabulous fall gift set and Becky sent it to me and I just fell in love with it. I thought, oh, I've had it sitting right on the edge of my desk this whole time, Becky, because I wanted to recreate it. Then the other thing I was thinking about that would be really cool is this could be a little birthday. Like we've got that birthday bonanza suite that just came out. This would be adorable. And this could be like, well, not coffee. Oh, probably the brownie mix. The brownie in a mug thing would work better. But you could have this as treat favors for your kids for their birthday if they have small classes. Or maybe they have big classes and you don't care. I mean, it's up to you. But what a great little treat thing. You could make these for your child's birthday party when you have their friends over. I just think this is the cutest thing ever. Yeah, so that was from Becky Miltenberger. And Becky, thank you so much. I love it when you guys share stuff like that with me. Um, I don't always recreate it, but if it's something unique to me that I've never seen before, I will definitely give it a whirl. And I think this was just the sweetest thing ever. Now, as long as I've got all this stuff out, I thought, why wouldn't I whip up a card to go with it and so I've got a super easy card to share with you and let me get out my directions I shouldn't say my directions my dimensions so we're going to set this to the side um this is my card base this is a real red card base oh and remember you guys I will have all the dimensions for this will be above the video when we're done. I'll type them up and put them in there. It might take me a little bit. I've got a conference call today at 8.45, so it might take me a little bit to get that all loaded. Real red, this was five and a half by eight and a half. I folded it in half. Then I've got two pieces of Whisper White. These are both four by five and a quarter. We're gonna take one of those and we are going to run it through that, hang on. Parisian Flourish 3D Folder, and it's going to look like all of this beautifulness. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Okay, then I've got a piece of the From the Heart Designer Series paper. This is one and a quarter by five and a quarter, and all we're going to do here is just glue this right on the front of our white layer. I'm going to put it oh, about right here. And I see it's kind of hanging over the end here. I tend to cut things a little bit larger. Where'd my scissors go? Oh, yeah, oh they're right here. Mm. Glad that wasn't a snake, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, and then we are going to take this white layer and I've got my real red ink here. And again, I'm using this heartfelt stamp set. And this says, being friends, being friends is better than eating candy, but let's do that too. I love this. So I'm gonna just add that right to the middle here. Oh, good. Okay, and then, hang on, I gotta grab my other ink pad. I didn't think I was using the flirty flamingo on this card, but I was wrong, as I am frequently. <laughs> and it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to take this cute little arrow in flirty flamingo, and I'm just going to put that right there. This is our inside layer. So we can add that right to our card. Okay, let me grab an envelope. Oh, those are turkey envelopes. I did a little bit of rearranging. So, I put my heat tool in one of my drawers. I'll probably never find it again. <laughs> you, guys, you guys know how that goes, right? <laughs> yeah. I am going to bring out this part right here because it looks like it needs some red ink on it. What do you guys think? 
ya. And a block. So we're going to get that and get that in the red. And now it's happy. <laughs> we're going to stamp that right here. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Okay, so we got that done. Let's keep going here. Now I've got a little half inch strip of cardstock and we're gonna take the saying that says roses are red, violets are blue. And we'll stamp that right on the edge of this half inch strip. And then we're gonna trim it down. Oh, that's kind of, hang on, I kind of um, jiggled it and it was a little fuzzy. Let's see if I can get it straight again. Oh, I did pretty good. Flag that end. This piece is actually half inch by about two and a half is what we're gonna end up with here. I'm gonna do a little banner end on it. Just like this, okay. And then I'm just gonna chop that off like that. This one is gonna go right on here. So, a little bit of glue. Put this right about here. Okay, are you with me so far? We can actually add this to the front of our card. So far I haven't smeared any red ink on it. Knocking on wood. <laughs> yeah. And... Next, I'm going to take the Flirty Flamingo Doily from the Doily Pack, and I'm gonna add that right here. Now I'm gonna bring in this paper again. Let me get this closed up, because when I punch these, they might go flying, and I don't want them flying in the ink. Here comes our regular heart, this is not the scalloped one. So I'm going to punch out three of these. So hang on, I have to bring that paper cutter in here and cut away a little bit of this paper so I can get at the other hearts. I need three hearts for this. Now, of course, you could stamp three hearts and punch those, but I just thought this would be really pretty with the specialty paper. And we're gonna do one more. Okay, are you ready for this? We're gonna take all of these and fold them in half. So fold your hearts, fold all three of them, one, two, three. So this week, um, Steve had a great idea to take dinner over to Haley and Jared so we can go over and see them. So we're going to do that on Thursday. And the little mama's belly is getting very big. <laughs> so cute. All right. We're going to glue all these together. So you're going to put a little bit of glue here. And we're going to glue that to the other one. Line it up. Push it together. Now we're gonna take the third one and we're gonna glue it to the other side here. Just like this. <gasps> this makes it 3D hard. I can't hardly contain myself with the excitement. Look at that. Now, this will lay flat for mailing. You don't have to worry about it costing extra postage. And then let's see if this is gonna look good with a scallop heart under it. I don't know if it will or not, but we're gonna try it. Cause we've already got the doily there. Should I do the scallop heart under it or not? What do you think? Let me know. Hmm. Is it a yes with the scallop? I think we'll do it. So you're just gonna put glue on the back of your 3D heart. We're gonna throw that onto our red scallop layer. And then I'm going to stick this all right on the doily. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Look at that. Ah! Yeah, 
Very, very cool. Now, this is actually going to be my Technique Club card for the month. And I'll show you how to do this with cardstock. So I'm just going to take this and let's see, where did the heart go? I want to see what's going to happen here. Mm, I'll do a score line right here. And then another one right here. I'm just scoring the scrap of real red cardstock. So I want to give it three score lines. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to punch this out with that score line right in the middle of my heart. You can only do this with punches or dies that are symmetrical, meaning they're the same if you were to split them into in, in half. And I got one more sample I can show you too. So once we get that done, I'm going to grab these cardstock layers and we're going to fold those in half. And they fold really nice because I scored them. It's kind of hard to, to fold them if you don't score them. We're going to take one and put this up against it. Make sure it's all nice and even. Fold it in half. Here comes the other one. Just like that. Here's our cool heart. Isn't it just so cool? I love this. And then I'm going to stick this on to my technique card. Now what the heck is this? I have a monthly technique club. It's all online. So everybody that's in this club is a virtual club. There's We don't actually meet. But what I do is I print out an instruction sheet. It's a quarter sheet of cardstock like this. And I list the directions for the technique of the month. This is a 3D technique. I put the technique on the instruction card. And then I also make a card with the technique and all of this goes in the mail to everybody in that technique club they get this in the mail so my technique clubbers get a card and an instruction sheet now you can punch a hole in this and you can keep all of these on a ring and have a whole bunch of technique ideas or you can do like I do here, and I've got this in a, one of our wood cases. You can buy these. And I've got all the technique sheets in here from techniques that we've done over the last couple years. So after a while, you're going to have a whole bunch of techniques that you can go, hmm, I wonder what I want to do today. Hey, let's do spritzer reinker background. Or let's do embossed vellum. Or how about a direct paper technique? So that's what this is all about. When you're in this club for a while, you're going to end up with a whole booklet of these instruction sheets. That's a good reference for your stamping library. What do you have to do to be in that technique club? You have to place a minimum $25 order with me each month for six months. Now, each month I will send you the technique instruction card and the card with the technique, made with the technique. And um, after six months, you're going to get a product credit from me of $30. So you get to order whatever you'd like up to $30 worth. And it's just my way of saying thank you. You have to do six consecutive months to be able to take advantage of that product credit. But regardless, when you join the club, you're going to get this every month. Now, how do you join the club? You have to email me and just take the www off and put kelly at astampabug.com. Email me and tell me you want to be in the Technique Club. Or if you just like more information, I'd be happy to give that to you. There is a link on the side column of my blog that tells all about my Technique Club. But it's pretty cool. There's a lot of people taking advantage of it. And every month you get something fun like this in the mail from me. All right, you guys. I am moving on to the next project because, oh yeah, there's more. Oh, I know, I wanted to show you these. Remember this? This was with the Snowman Builder Punch and some of our dazzling details, dazzling diamond paper. Isn't that pretty? I did a blue one, a pink one, and a Coastal Cabana one. And again, 3D snowmen. Super, super fun. They lay flat for mailing. Yeah, so there's a couple different ideas for you. 
And again, this works because this punch is symmetrical. You can do punch, you can do dies, it doesn't matter. You could even take these doilies and you could glue these together. You could fold them in half and glue these together because they're symmetrical. Okay, let me get this out of the way so I can bring in the next project. I've got so many fun things for you guys tonight. I'm just, I was so excited to be able to stamp with you. Let me move these out of the way. Oh, while I'm getting myself together here, we've got this and this, and look at how cute of a gift that's gonna make. Yeah. Oh, and I told you I'd show you the other one. This one I did with Flirty Flamingo, and I used some different designer paper. And then my doily is red versus the Flirty Flamingo one. So, two different ideas here. Which one do you guys like better, the red one or the flirty one? I think I like the red one. I don't know. I like both of them. But they're they're both super cute, right? Okay, let me keep moving along here. Whoops. Um, where's my next project? Here it is. All right. Ooh, I think I'm going to need some things out of here again. Maybe? Maybe not. The next project I'm bringing in, I am going to use the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. This is a brand new suite in the Occasions Mini Catalog. And it's all about birthdays. So I thought that was a good suite for me to work with tonight because come January, you need to be making a bunch of birthday cards for the year. And I've got my ink pads here. I've got a whole pile of cards that I made with this layout and this paper. Also going to be using this rectangle stitched framelits. Now, you know that one little framelit? Let me get these back in here. Um, who said, Debbie, your um, feed is freezing. That's your internet is not working well. The streaming isn't keeping up tonight on your end. My screen looks great. Like I can see my video perfectly. So I'm really sorry about that, but you can always go back when we're not live and it will play properly. Okay, I am going to use this particular framelit and I always call this the odd man out. So we've got a series here and a series here, but then you got this odd man out. That's the one that I'm using out of the rectangle stitched framelit dies. So what are you guys drinking tonight? I have, of course, my strawberry lemonade. <laughs> I know, I'm pretty boring. And then I'm going to pair this birthday bonanza with the gang's all mirror. This cute little stamp set is free during celebration. So for every $50 you order, you can get this set free. Meerkats are very trendy. They're a hot little item right now. So um, if you have grandkids or kids, you're going to be like the coolest mom or the coolest grandma because you're going to be very trendy with the mirror cats if you get that one. I'm going to bring in all my, <clears throat> excuse me, layers here and my mirror cat stamp set. Now. I chose this particular paper because again, like I was telling you with the, from my heart, you have stripes, dots, stripes. You could use this for something other than Valentine's Day. And while we have these little animals on four different sets of this paper, the rest of it is neutrally. Okay, this is candles, so that's birthday stuff, but this is, this is not birthday, this is not birthday, this this is just presents. So yeah, kind of birthdays. We got balloons here. And again, new, um, very neutral paper, not any particular theme and the stripes. So this is what I decided to do. I'm going to take some Daffodil Delight. And again, I've got all my coordinating colors right here. And where am I getting those coordinating colors from? On the back of every pack of designer series paper, it lists them. You may have to get your magnifying glass out to read it, but it tells you the coordinating colors and that's what I put on my sampler for that paper. 
So I've got Daffodil Delight here. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And I am going to fold this in half. And Mary Lynn, Mary Lynn says she can't get excited about the birthday set. I wasn't real keen on it either, but when you start seeing what people are making with it, that makes all the difference in the world. Like some really, really adorable things. This is four by five and a quarter. And now I'm to the point with this birthday bonanza, I can't wait to make some more cards or projects with this. Hang on, I'm just trying to see which one I actually need here. Yep, we are going to use the side with the presents on it. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, and then let's see. I've got our inside layer here and I am going to, I'm gonna stamp that with Bermuda Bay again, one of the coordinating colors. And I just grabbed a stamp set that had a greeting in it that I wanted. This is perennial birthday and I'm gonna stamp here's to celebrating you. Make sure that's right side up. Oops, that's crooked. Let me stand up and get this straight. There we go. And then we've got the cute little birthday hat. I'm going to stamp that in Daffodil Delight right there. And then I'm going to bring in our soft suede and do this little meerkat. Ah, isn't it cute? Just a little bit of something on the inside of your card really makes a lot of difference. It takes your card to a whole new level. There we go. There's the inside. Here's the outside so far. Now, I've got a piece of Whisper White. This is, uh, oops, hang on. Oh, here's my little cheat sheet. This is two and three quarters by four. And then I've got a piece of Daffodil Delight that is three by four and a quarter. We're going to take this whole little gang of meerkats and we're just going to stamp it right over here. Now, we could just leave it like that, or if you'd like to add a little color, I've just got an aqua painter here. This just has water in it. And if you color it before your ink gets real dry, you can add a little bit of color without any more products. Like you could dip this in the ink if you wanted to, but why when the ink is bleeding just a touch? So you can add a little bit of color here if you wanted to. Or you could just leave the meerkat stamped in soft suede. And this is fairly easy. There we go. And then I'm going to add this to my Daffodil Delight layer. Here comes some dimensionals. Pop this up on some dimensionals just for fun. And I'm going to put that on the front of my card right over here. I had a little bit too much water in my aqua painter, you guys. You want to be careful of that because it's bleeding too much. So I just want to, you to make note of that, that you want your aqua painter to be fairly dry. I should have wiped it off again because I had a little bit too much water in it. But we're going to keep going. Then I've got, did you guys see that little, where did that framelit go? Oh, I put it back. Okay, we're going to die cut from crumb cake. One of these framelits and I've already done that here and then we're going to stamp the happy birthday to a stand-up friend and that comes from the gangs all mirror stamp set then I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of that and I've got a tiny little strip of soft suede this is about three by one eighth so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there and I'm going to make this stick right there. Here comes our cute little sign. What do you think? 
Is that not cute? Yeah, so let me show you the rest of them. Like I said, this is where it started. I made this for a swap and I did a Valentine card with the Valentine paper and I thought, oh, I should try some other papers. So that's where I brought in the um, birthday bonanza paper. So I've got that one. I've got this one. This one has a terracotta tile card base. This one is Mango Melody, and you can see I did not st I did not color the meerkats in. I left them white, so it's completely up to you. If you're a colorer, color them. If you're not, you don't have to. Then we've got Bermuda Bay, another terracotta tile, another pattern with the Mango Melody. And here are the ice cream cones with Bermuda Bay again. And it all started with this card. Cute idea, right? That's the Gangs All Mirror. This is free with your $50 order between now and the end of March. This is one of our free celebration sets. Okay, so let me bring these. Let me close up a few of these things. Now, if I miss any questions, this is the time for you to ask them because I'll be um, looking at the questions to see if I missed anything. Yeah, as soon as I saw this meerkat stamp set, like that was on the top of my list for celebration because I knew that there's just so many cute ideas using this set and it was going to be really easy to create with for sure. And again, this is the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper with all of these meerkat cards. And I think what I'm going to do with these cards is I'm going to wrap these up, package these up, and I'm going to give them to my stepdaughter, Anna, who has kids that need birthday cards when they go to parties. And she's going to love having these so she doesn't have to go out and buy birthday cards, right? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, let me get this stuff out of the way. Here's the other items that we made. I don't know if you can see all this stuff. I got kind of a lot going on here, don't I? All right. Everything out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... How do I store my designer series paper scraps? Well, Kim, that's a really good question. And I'll tell you what I do. This is my designer series paper. And our paper comes with a resealable envelope most of the time. Otherwise, I cut a slit in the top. And I just keep all of my designer paper in with each pack. That's how I store it. So it's pretty simple. Nothing too complicated. Um, you'll see that this paper does not have a sealable flap, but again, I just cut that top open and I just slip everything back in there. That's a really good question. And I want to show you these Christmas cards now because they are so pretty. And I need to thank everybody for all of the cards that they sent. Okay, I'm going to pick these up and set these off to the side. What do I got here? Oh, there's my envelope. And all my little meerkat birthday cards. These are all super sweet. Each one stamped on the inside with that birthday party hat and the little single meerkat guy. Okay. So, this came from Tracy Bazemore, and I showed you the candy that she got me, right? And I'm thinking that I should probably have one of those. Mmm. It is good. I don't even know what they are, but they're delicious. All right, and then... Oh, this one sealed itself back up. Hang on. This is from Rachel. Oh, my goodness. I remember this one. Hang on, I'm going to open it. This is fancy, fancy fold. Look at that. This is from Rachel Deshant. 
from Estes Park, Colorado. I was in Estes Park last year. It's a beautiful place. And look at how fun that is. Birthday card, or a Christmas card for Steve and I. You really outdid yourself with this one, Rachel. That is beautiful. Then, we have... Oh, this is from Rachel Ann Duhan. And she said, oh, she host, I hosted a swap, and she's saying thank you for letting her join the swap. So she sent me this card. Isn't that cute? Yeah. All right. Then we have, oh, this, this is the card that came with the candy. Look at how cute that is. My gosh, I just love those little guys. This is from Tracy Bazemore. And this came with the delightful mm, candy. I love it. Okay, that was, yep, that was Tracy's box. Here it comes. This card, I can't remember if I showed this one last time or not. This is from Norma Kalukas. And look at how pretty that is. This was one of our paper pumpkins. And she was thanking me. She was in my technique club and she really enjoyed it. And she says, I'm way past my six months, so I might as well keep going. <laughs> yeah, you're not limited to six months. You can keep going and keep going. Thank you, Norma. Oh, and this is from Kate. Kate Sicard. Look at that. Kate um, sent me a picture of her Christmas card and asked if I had any um, suggestions for her. And I just told her to add a little pop of red. And look at how pretty that is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. A gorgeous card. Thank you, Kate. And then, oh, this is from one of my team members, Christine. And uh, she's wishing me and Steve a very Merry Christmas. Very pretty. Thank you, Christine. And then I have Jay Shante. Look at how pretty this is. Holy cow, Jay. She used some of that... Um, First, what is that called? That frosted paper. I can't remember what it's called now because we're done with it. But absolutely gorgeous. And then look at these funny little guys. They're on the little spring things. <laughs> Who is this from? This was from Megan. Oh, I can't read your name, Megan, on the back. Recorna from Australia. How cute is that? Super, super cute. I love those. Love those frogs. Then we have a card here from my neighbor and friend, Diane. She lives right on the corner down here. I used to babysit her grandkids. Yeah, did you guys know I used to do daycare? I did daycare for like 15 years when Haley was little. And here's a card from Janet Whalen. I knew I would remember that. Look at how pretty that is on the inside. Yeah. Gorgeous. Very, very pretty, Janet. Thank you so much. And then we've got one here from Janet, Jan Fortin. Jan recently joined my team under Cindy. And uh, we are happy to have her. I love, love this whole layout. That's the envelope. And then, this was one of our paper pumpkin kits. This is from Trudy Hudson. I know Trudy. I think Trudy's on here watching tonight. I think I saw her. Thank you so much. I love the mousse that you slipped in there. That is just adorable. Then we have, hang on. Uh-oh. Yep, here's another one. This is from Sierra. Bruchoud, Bruchoud, I think I said that right. I always say her name wrong. How pretty is that? Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. This one's stuck back together again. Hang on. Oh, here's another paper pumpkin kit. This is from Deb Culbertson. Look at how pretty that is. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Okay, I'm going to keep those envelopes on. Um, closed so I'm not spreading everybody's address all over the place right look at how pretty that is this is from Jen Morgan Jen's one of my team members I love this paper is very interesting very very cool okay you guys I think I'm gonna save the rest of them for next time um, if anybody has any questions that I didn't get answered, I know I keep saying ask them now and then I'll answer them, but if you ask me again, I was busy doing cards. 
You know how that goes. I'm going to flip my camera around because I don't like talking to like the back of your head. Does that make sense? <laughs> like, I feel like I'm talking to the back of your head. <laughs> Whew, I'm kind of hot too. Whew. So, any more questions? Hi, Claudia. Welcome. What time is it? Oh yeah, 8.20. That's, we did good, right? We did a ton of cards tonight. And, uh, Gosh, I love these meerkats. I love them. Mmm. Trudy, thank you so much. Trudy says, totally love the projects tonight. Thank you so much. Hi, Lori. I know. I wish I could see all of this going on while I'm busy making cards, but... Oh, my Lord. I'm just... I guess I'm just not that talented. Because <laughs> that's really tricky, right? It's crazy. Thank you, Wendy. Thanks, Paula. Thanks, Kelly. Good to see you on here tonight. Janine, thank you. Because I'm chewing on my chocolate. Look at this has caramel in it. Like, it's got caramel goozing out of it. I'm sorry. I wish I could share it with you. But, I've only got three pieces left. Tracy, thank you so much. It's delicious. So, what do I got going on? Coming up. Um, ooh, you guys. Me and Steve have been talking about going on a little trip. So... Um, I think we're going to book a cruise because we can get them really, really inexpensively right now. We were looking at them and you can get like a room for three fifty a person. Yeah. On a cruise ship, like just a five night cruise. But I think we're going to head south and take a little, little R and R. Not too long, not more than a week for sure. But we were supposed to book it this morning. Then I got super busy. So I think we'll book it tomorrow. I'm excited. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Let you know when I'm going to be gone. And, um, what else is happening? Not much. My mom is good. All the kids are good. Haley's got that little belly thing going on. So that's adorable. I keep calling her the little mama. And the baby's kicking now. She goes in on Thursday for the diabetes test. You know how they do that gestational diabetes thing. Um, she goes in for that test on Thursday. I'm sure everything will be fine, but they are so excited. And I think I told you guys this, Jared, who is Haley's husband and the dad of her baby <laughs> just in case there was any confusion there um he is so excited he is gonna be the best dad ever like I don't even know how she picked this this man he's like the best we just can't say enough good things about him he's gonna be the best dad he's the best husband he's just amazing and um, he has his own Pinterest account for the baby. Like his own Pinterest boards to save stuff for the baby. <laughs> I just think it's so funny. But anyways, I'm really looking forward to them being parents. Because I know Haley's going to be a great mom. She had kind of a pretty decent example. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Can I say that myself? I think I can. I think I was a pretty good mom. Um, and he is going to be like... Oh my gosh, this child is going to be the luckiest child in the world. So, can you tell I'm a little excited about this baby? Yeah. So, um, we were just looking at venues for the baby shower. It's going to be at the end of February. So, I'm excited to start planning that, too. Um, yeah, two more months, right? I know, and everybody's like, was she pregnant at her wedding? No, actually, she wasn't. But we're pretty sure she got pregnant on her honeymoon um, because she... She was drinking at her wedding, and she would never do that if she was pregnant. So we're like, did she just not tell us? Nope. Nope. This is a honeymoon baby. <laughs> She's due April 20th, Mercy. So, yeah, it's coming up pretty quick. I'm excited. Okay, so I'm going to stop babbling on. I just enjoy, um, I, I feel like I get to now chat with you. Like, I've done all the things, and now I can chat with you because I can see what you're saying and, you know... Um, but I don't want to keep you. I know it's getting late. And I do have a conference call in about 20 minutes that I have to take care of. I am a guest presenter at a demonstrator event coming up um, next weekend. So I'm on a conference call to discuss what I am presenting. <laughs> Nothing like waiting till the last minute, Kelly. I know. I have to do, a, I think, a creative demonstration and also a business um, presentation. So, eh, who knows? It'll be fun. I'm, I love those things. I love going and being with other demonstrators. It's super fun. So, 
Oh, Elaine says her daughter got pregnant on her honeymoon too. I hope you're doing okay now, Elaine. Elaine fell and broke her hip. Urgh. Um, I hope you're healing okay. So how am I doing with my new glasses? These are my old glasses. These are my new glasses. So some days I get headaches right away. Like I can't hardly read my screen with these on. I can if I do that. But I don't want to look like this. I don't want to do that. Like that's dumb, right? So I don't want to keep doing that. That's not okay. These glasses, I've got my, um, what do they call that? Uh, bifocals where I can see I can read that but with these glasses I can't I have to then go like that and then I can read and I don't that's dumb looking <laughs> right so anyways I'm gonna let you guys go I'm gonna try to get these dimensions all typed up I've got them all right here and get them loaded up above this video when I shut off for the night so that you guys can have them and I am thinking that I am not going to have all the photos and stuff taken of these projects and up tonight. I, I'm, I was super tired late tonight, right before I came on. I got a perk of energy or a burst of energy, I guess. But um, I will have these up in the morning. I'll probably get them up in the morning, the still photos and all the dimensions on my blog. But I will type up the dimensions right now and put them on the Facebook video above the video so you guys can have them if you want to do a little late night stamping. Okay, don't forget. Be a discount shopper. Join my team. When you do that, you get all the free stuff. You get the mini paper cutter. You get the sampler pack of paper. And you get a stamp set of your choice. $99. Free shipping. Paper pumpkin kit. You get to choose $125 of whatever you want. Um, and you get all my cl online classes for free once you place a demonstrator order and use your discount. Um, yeah, it's... It's worth it. It's totally worth it. Join my team. You'll love it. We're a lot. I know you're going to find this shocking, but we're a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Watch for my tip video on Wednesday. I'm going to be sharing all the details about these um, DSP samplers and a link so that you can make your own. All right. Have a great week. Oh, wait, Kathy's asking, are your new glasses progressive lenses? That is how mine were. I don't know. I don't know if they are or not, Kathy. If I keep having trouble, I'm going to go to the eye doctor. I didn't get them at the eye doctor. I got them at Costco, but I'm going to go back to the eye doctor and say, here, tell me about these. Well, these are my old glasses, but um, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Thank you so much for asking, though. You guys have a great week. Bye-bye.